Hello, boys and girls. Today I'm going to talk to you about compound words. Here's what we already know. We know antonyms are words with opposite meanings, like hot and cold. We know synonyms are words with the same meaning, like chilly and cold. And we know homonyms are words with the same sound but different meaning, like the words dear and dear. Let's learn a new kind of word, compound words. Why should we learn compound words? <laughs> compound words are everywhere. You use compound words when you write. when you read. Here's a compound word you may know, ladybug. Put two words together to create a new word. Lady and bug make the word ladybug. Here's a helpful hint. If you could draw a picture for each part, each word in the compound word, then it's a great compound word. Here's some more compound words you may have heard before. Using three words, you are now going to create two compound words. Here are the three words. Out of these three words, you try to create two compound words. Think about it. Say your answer out loud. With these three words, you could make the word doorbell or doorknob. Try it again. Fish, gold, and star. You try to make two compound words. Think about it and say it out loud when you know your answer. You were right if you guessed goldfish or starfish. Here's the last one. Ball, flake, and snow. Can you make two compound words out of those words? You were right if you guessed snowball or snowflake. You're a super star. After watching this PowerPoint, please complete the Google Doc online, and then you're done with your flipped homework from the night. Remember, you can watch this PowerPoint as many times as you like in order to understand what we're doing. Happy flipping.